me Ebony. A few months ago you may remember me sharing with you about my experience with hair vitamins. I had taken some and they caused my skin to break out, my already acne prone skin okay, to break out um, into like very very active acne. And so in order to try to get that back under control I started um, back on a very strict skincare regimen and doing facials at least every other week. And so I just thought it might be beneficial for some of you guys to see how exactly I was able to get my skin back under control, um, kind of control some of the active breakouts that I was having and how to do a facial at home. So that's basically what this video is about. Uh, I'm very proud of myself for recording it because I um, am sort of self-conscious about being very exposed without any makeup on at all, even though I don't wear full heavy makeup every day. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy and, and learn something from the video and thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Okay, so all the products that I'm using are listed down in the description box. The first thing you want to do is remove your makeup. I like to use the cleansing towelettes, but you can use an oil-based moisturizer or anything you like to take off all your makeup. Then you're going to cleanse your face with your favorite product, and this is the one I choose to use. I like to dampen my face with lukewarm water first, not hot, not cold, and then, um, you know, make a good lather and cleanse my face after it's been dampened, after my skin has been dampened. I make sure that I cleanse without using my nails with the pads of my fingers. And then I pat my face dry with a white towel. I don't rub it. Next you're going to apply a toner and I love using witch hazel. I use it on a cotton ball. And all the dark spots you can see in the video are the more recent active breakouts that I had. So you can see those vitamins really did a number on me. Then you're going to exfoliate and I like to use a chemical exfoliant, okay? And I'll show you how that works in a second. Basically it comes out in a powder form as you can see there. And then you take a little bit of water and it activates the exfoliant and makes it a paste. And so that's what I'm showing. And then I apply that to my skin. And it almost looks like a mask, but it's not, you know, it's actually exfoliating um, using chemical enzymes. I apply that to my face and rub it in. And it's really important that you get your neck and um, not around your eyes, you know, keep that clear. And then allow it to sit for a few minutes to allow it to work and wash it off. The next step is to steam your face and I use a facial sauna and this is what it looks like. You can see the steam coming up out of it. I make sure that it's, you know, producing steam before I sit over it. And then I like to put a couple of drops of eucalyptus oil. Uh, it's antibacterial, it's calming, it has a lot of great properties for the skin. Tea tree oil is another good one. And I just sit and allow the steam to open my pores. Um, and this really helps to release any bacteria or anything that might be trapped in your face. And you can see that I'm rotating my face to make sure that the whole thing gets steamed. And next I'm going to apply a mask. Now that your pores are nice and open. This is my favorite mask of all times. Oh my goodness. I would never use another one. And I just apply that all over. Of course not my lips and eyes but all over my face. And I try to make sure that I get my neck area, and especially when I have active breakouts as I had um, from the hair, nail, and skin vitamins I was taking. And then I allow the face mask to dry. It takes about 15 minutes. You can see I'm getting my neck really well and then I wash that off again using lukewarm water and that's the last step and I'm finished so I hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching don't forget to connect with me on social media and I'll see you in another video take care and stay blessed